Miniature box number two. Here we go. All right, what's up, everybody? This box of miniatures, it's a very small box. It was just three miniature sets, and I bought them because I wanted them. I wanted them personally. Um, I will be keeping at least one of these sets, if not two of them, for my own, like for a while. I don't really have a miniature collection, but I've wanted these, and I'm considering maybe even painting them. I've been talking to Michael Ann about maybe painting these dragons. So. Uh, I'm going to sell one for sure, but we'll get into that. But let's take a look at why I bought these. So, this is the auction that I saw come along. The price for these, not bad. I have sold, well, I have been party to selling. I was helping someone sell. And they sold one of these miniature sets, still in the package, but in the same condition, because these are these look like they're in basically new condition one of these for $200. I've routinely seen some of these miniatures sell for between $60 and $100 a piece. Now, you also sometimes find one that's selling for $12. I never see it before it sells for $12, but I see sold items on eBay and I see really, really good AD&D Council of Worms miniatures, which is what these are. I see them selling for cheap prices, but I also see them listed for a lot and I see them sell for a lot. So these three for $60 seemed like a really good deal. Now, of course, that's assuming that once I get into this box, they will be what I expect and in the condition I'm, I'm hoping they're in. So let's go take a look at those now. All right, miniature eBay lot number two, the one that I bought because I wanted these. Let's get in and see how these are. Oh, before I open it, stuff moves around a little but it doesn't sound bad. There's a little bit of side to side and I can kind of hear metal clanking, but not much. I'm not, I'm not leery of it to start. These are taped together so they won't move. That's fine. All right, all right. Okay. I'm pretty happy with the way these were sent. Ah, I've got a piece of metal sticking through the bubble wrap right here, but honestly, it doesn't look like it's caused any trouble. Let's see if I can hold it up so you can see that. Still, that's that's not much of a thing. So let's open these up. Now, the reason why I bought these is I have run across these miniatures before, not these exact ones. In some cases, yes. In some cases, no. There's three here. Uh, but any miniature from this line, oh, yeah, that's nice looking. All right. There's a dragon. The metal that was sticking out on this one was the top of a wing. There's a dragon. This one I can already tell is in pieces, but that's okay. I don't think it's broken. I think it's just the original pieces haven't been glued together. These have been glued. All right, this is one I have not seen. Right, so one of his wings has come loose, which is okay. And his neck and head is not connected, but that's okay. Because that just glues back into place. That's how it's meant to be. 
All right. What's so special about these three miniatures that I would pay the $60 plus shipping and tax to get them? These are Raul Partha, AD&D, Council of the Worm, W-Y-R-M, miniatures. That was a thing for Dungeons and Dragons, from what I understand, where there was a a set of islands that different kinds of dragons lived on. And I believe in that game, you played as a dragon. Now, I'm not 100% sure. I've said before, I didn't play D&D. But what I do know is that all of the miniatures that Raul Partha made during that time frame, they were only made during that time frame, all of the AD&D specific miniatures. And if you go on Lost Minis and you go and you take a look at the page for that, you'll see that the section that has all the AD&D minis. They all went out of print. I, I read somewhere, and I don't know, I'm not a, I'm not a, a authority on this subject, but I read somewhere that the deal was that they had to destroy the molds for these miniatures when the time was up, when the license was up. That's why there are versions of these creatures available in miniature form, but not these exact molds. And at the time, people really loved the stuff that Raul Partha was doing with the D&D stuff. And they also liked the metal. I've heard people talk about the metal that they were using at the time. There was a fear about lead. And so uh, companies started using different like pewter type metals to do these, to like cast these miniatures. And Raul Partha came up with a thing that they called Relatium. That's the truth. It was a mix of metals, a proprietary mix called Relatium that had no lead in it. It was lead free. But honestly, those miniatures made with Relatium are just awesome miniatures. These are three of them. So I'll bring the camera down and get a little closer to them. But here's the thing I'm probably going to sell this one. I'm not a, a huge lover of this miniature. These two, I kind of want to keep them. And I was thinking about painting them. I, you know, the more I look at this one, the more I, I feel like I'm not in love with the idea of painting it. But maybe Michael Ann would feel differently. Maybe she'd like to give it a shot. I really like this one. The wings are just so weird, like a seashell look. So that's basically it. That's what we have here with these miniatures. I am happy with the price. I'm happy with the way that this sorted out. And if I don't sell any of these, I'm still glad that I made this purchase. But I will. I'll sell these. I'll make most of my money back, if not all. If I sell two, I'll definitely get all the money back and be able to keep one for free. And That's probably what maybe I'll end up doing in the end. We'll see. We'll see how it goes with the painting. All right. So that's it. This is a quick one. Raw Partha, AD&D, Council of Worms. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, part three is coming up on this one. The box that I'm a little more worried about. We'll get to that next time. Thanks a lot.